people it's Yana and I'm back today with yet another video and today I decided to do something a little bit different a little fun and give my new puppy Arthur a little bath Arthur is my little baby Pomeranian he is two and a half months old he is honestly the sweetest angel ever like he is so cuddly and so sweet this morning we did go for a little walk so he did get a little dirty are you ready for your bath Arthur Oh, I think he's literally falling asleep. He's so sleepy. So because the first step to every relaxing bath is candles, we're gonna light up a candle for Arthur to be able to relax. Arthur, you're getting the real spa experience. Are you excited? Absolutely not. All right, the candle is lit and it's smelling beautiful. Arthur is about to be the most spoiled dog ever. All right, we took Arthur's little collar off and it's time for him to get into the bathtub. Oh, you like it? Wow, it's a bathtub. Arthur isn't the biggest fan of baths as most dogs are, but he actually does pretty good in them. You like your bath, buddy? He does this adorable thing where he starts to pedal before he even gets into the water. Do you see that? He's so freaking cute. So now that Arthur is in the tub, we're gonna use this shampoo for puppies to give him a good scrub down. This is also lavender scented, so you know it's gonna be super relaxing for him. Now usually after Arthur's bath, it's time for him to get hair dried, which he absolutely hates, okay? Arthur hates the hair dryer. Honestly, I don't blame him. I'm sure like 90% of dogs hate the hair dryer. Usually after the bath, I towel dry him and then let him run around for a little bit because after a bath, he usually has a lot of energy and he likes to get the water out of him by like rubbing on literally every single thing possible in the house. I don't think he understands what's about to go down. I don't think he realizes. You're about to get hair dried. Usually after about like 30 seconds of hair drying, he's completely over it and runs away. So usually what I do because it's so hot in LA is I just dry him as much as I can and then let him go outside and dry off in the sun. He loves playing in the backyard in the sun, so we're gonna take him outside a little bit and let him play and also dry off. Are you ready for playtime? You don't wanna have bath time anymore, you wanna have playtime, right? <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, baby. All right, guys, so as I promised, we are in the Prime Capital backyard for Arthur to let out all his energy because God knows after that bath, he sure has a lot of it. Say hi, say hi, say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> you want the toy, don't you? He loves this little rope. He's so obsessed with it. It's like his favorite thing. You wanna play tug of war? You wanna play tug of war? You're too tiny. Does anyone else's dog not know their own size? Because Arthur thinks he is like the biggest dog. He thinks he's the alpha male. And he is so not. He's this tiny little boy, but he has no idea. It's honestly so sweet. I love him. Arthur has honestly been the best addition to my life. I love him. He honestly has not made my life harder at all. Obviously when you're thinking about getting a dog everyone tells you like it comes with a lot of responsibilities and that is true But I felt like I was at a point in my life where not only I could handle the responsibilities But I felt like I was ready for a responsibility in my life I felt like I needed it and so Arthur is my new little responsibility and my new little best friend. I love him so much Say hi Arthur Say hi Oh, oh you hit the camera you hit the camera. Oh baby. No <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
right, guys. Now that Kyle is home, we want to hear from him. How do you feel about ow, Arthur? Ow, he's biting me. Look, look. <gasps> ow. Oh my God. He's had a rough day. He got a bath. Yeah. Did you get a bath? Does he smell good? Yeah, he smells so nice. What does he smell like? Guess, he guess like the clean. smell of his shampoo. He smells like soap. No, no, guess the smell. The oh. specific smell. It's a flower. Oh, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Arthur's part of the team now. Yeah, how do you feel he's about Arthur, Kyle? Already. How do you feel about him? I think he's a great addition. A great addition? He's Look at him. Wet. Look, he, he definitely doesn't mess with the bath. He does not. He doesn't like it. Oh. Oh. No, what's that song from a Lion King? It's like, Oh, they don't know. Oh, he's, yo, he's actually, yo, his teeth are getting stronger. Yeah, yeah, you guys, his teeth are getting sharper by the minute, and he's also getting bitier by the minute. Yeah, he is a vampire. Are you gonna get a blood while we're sleeping? Oh. Oh my god. Oh, off he goes. All right, you guys, that is it. Arthur was like, goodbye, cruel world, and oh. jumped off from my hands. <laughs> Final review. Do you like Arthur? 10 out of 10. Honestly, Anna, like, you're, I feel like you're cheating on me with Arthur now. <gasps> you know what? I've been You've sensing. You've been hanging out with Arthur a little too much. I have been Arthur sensing. Arthur you're my girl. A little bit of jealousy between the two boys. I, mean, I can't blame you, though. He is pretty attractive. He's like, a pretty cute boy, right? Me and Arthur might be up to no good ourselves. He's also, oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Kobe, what do you think about Arthur, I think you guys have like the best relationship in the house. Oh God, I think we have the best relation, no doubt, right? Now. You guys are like the bestest of friends. Mm. Look at them. It smells so good too. Yeah, he just got a bath. He was not a big fan of it. Oh, guess the scent. Kyle couldn't guess. You have to guess. Coconut. No. No, not even close. Pomegranate. Pomegranate? No. Think about like Lavender. spa. Yes, Is lavender. It? He got it. Oh my God, he smells amazing. Doesn't he right. smell so good? So how do you feel about Arthur joining the household? Oh my God, I love it. So many times throughout the day, little Arthur has little potty accidents in the house, right? Yeah. And Co Kobe loves that, right? Kobe's, oh no, I love it. He loves cleaning up after it's, Arthur. I wouldn't even say it's potty accidents. It's more like, uh, I guess he has a little bit of apple juice and he just drops it. Yeah, know? he drops a little bit of apple juice on the floor and Kobe, that's his favorite thing to see in the morning, especially in front of his room. Oh, especially when I just yeah. see it? Oh my God, yeah. I love that. He loves it. He's very excited. You know? Yeah. He got a bath. Can you guess the scent of yes, the yes. shampoo? Wet dog. Wet dog? No. No, no. no, it's something even better. Oh, it smells nice, eh? Lavender? <gasps> Oh my God! Yeah. Yes. I I use lavender uh, shampoo. Oh, there you go. So you you and Arthur have something in common. And I also I also uh, drink my milk like this. So people think I'm weird for that, but I'm just trying to be like Arthur. Oh yeah, that's crazy. We have a lot in common. I can tell. Yeah, we're like soulmates. I think. All right, you guys. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me to give my puppy Arthur a bath. If you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to see more of me and Arthur, make sure to let us know in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm back today with yet another video and you guys I am very nervous because I will be going on an airplane with my puppy for the very first time Kyle and I are going back to Toronto for a little bit and we want to take Arthur with us So today is the day that Arthur becomes a worldwide traveler and I really want to bring you guys along for the adventure Okay, so I'm here with my baby Arthur and I really quickly wanted to show you what he's gonna be traveling in I got this really adorable pet carrier from Amazon for like 30 bucks. It's amazing because it opens from both sides and it has a really comfortable bed inside for him to be able to sleep although honestly I doubt that he's gonna want to sleep on the plane to be very honest with you guys I'm so nervous about Arthur starting to squeal or bark on the plane I'm really hoping he's a good boy for this <laughs> sir nice to meet you sir Arthur has been super sleepy all morning which makes me scared that he's gonna enter like zoomy mode very soon like he's way too cuddly right now I want him to be energetic so he can let all his energy out before the plane but I honestly don't think that's gonna happen ready to leave soon
with you guys also because it's so freaking cold in airplanes. I wanted to get Arthur a little sweater so that he can be warm in the airplane. And I just want to show you the sweater because it's literally the most adorable thing I've ever gotten him. This is the freaking sweater. Is it not adorable? It's actually really warm and so cute and it fits him perfectly. It's like a little puppy clothing company here in LA that I absolutely love. They make the best dog clothes and I'm so excited for him to wear it in the plane. Because Arthur is so small, he gets very cold very easy. So I want to make sure that he's very snuggly and comfortable in the airplane. I know I get cold in planes, so I'm sure he's going to get cold as well. Like mother, like son. since we have arrived to Toronto. Arthur and I made it here safe and sound. Guys, he actually did amazing on the plane. He pretty much slept all throughout the plane unless he was drinking water or having a treat. I flew with Air Canada and he wasn't allowed to like leave his little carrier, but he was supposed to be either in the carrier on my lap or below my feet, which initially during takeoff, he really didn't like because the plane was pretty bumpy. But as everything settled down, he kind of fell asleep and just stopped caring which I was so relieved about because I was so scared he was gonna be that dog that was just gonna yap the whole plane ride but he definitely did not he was an angel I noticed that he adapts to different environments really fast which I love about him because he's gonna need to do that knowing my lifestyle today he also had his first grooming appointment but basically he just got a nail trim and a bath because you're not really supposed to like give Pomeranians haircuts as you can tell he just wants to play right now he does not have an interest in cuddling. I feel like as he's getting older, more of his personality is coming out. Like he's not this sweet little cuddly baby anymore. He's becoming a lot more independent. Like he doesn't really need me as much anymore. And it kind of breaks my heart a little bit. But he's just amazing. Like I love him to death. And I know you guys love him too because I saw the comments on my last video. Everyone saying he is the most adorable puppy in the whole world, which he totally is. Don't at me. Today also Arthur met another dog for the very first time because up until this point he didn't have all his vaccinations so he wasn't able to be around dogs and now that he's fully vaccinated he can go around other doggies and I took him to my aunt's house to go play with their golden doodle and at first Arthur was very cautious because he is so tiny and the other dog is so so big it off and like there was no issue I was worried about Arthur being so small if he would be able to get along with other dogs but he is amazing with other dogs and he's so social with other people So good too. Yeah, he just got a bath. He was not a big fan of it. All 
Arthur's part of the team now. Yeah, how do you feel I'm about Arthur, Kyle? Arthur. How do you feel about him? I think he's a great addition. A great addition? He's Look at him. Wet. Look, he, he definitely doesn't mess with the bath. He does not. He doesn't like it. Oh. Oh. him and just train him and bring him around as many people as many places as many dogs as I can because I really want him to have a full life I want him to have I want to take him everywhere with me I want him to travel the world with me anyway you guys I love you so much I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and Arthur and I will see you next time bye It's Yana and I'm back today with yet another video right now We're on a little adventure outside, but right after this I'm gonna get my little puppy Arthur to try out all different sorts of veggies and see which vegetables He loves the most so far the only vegetables he's had are the ones that come in his dog food I think he's had like cucumbers and carrots, but nothing too crazy So I'm super excited to see his reaction He's about to get introduced to a whole new world of food that he's never had before it's about to be so cute before we get started though I really want to show you guys Arthur's first time enjoying a pup cup. Arthur had a vaccine appointment the other day and I really wanted to make him feel better by giving him his first pup cup from Starbucks and he loved it so much but he's so tiny that he couldn't even finish it. So here's the most adorable clip of Arthur eating a pup cup. Right, now that you've seen that we're gonna go back inside and let Arthur try all different sorts of veggies It's also pretty freaking cold in Canada. I should have worn a jacket I really do miss LA weather cuz Toronto weather right now is brutal. It is still way too cold All right, so the very first thing Arthur is gonna try are cherry tomatoes He's definitely had these before and he loves them Okay, next I'm gonna give him bell pepper, which he's already freaking out about and he's never had before. So I think he's gonna like this one. Okay, calm down, calm down. Arthur, wait. <laughs> Here you go. Bell pepper. <laughs> Okay, so for this next one, he's absolutely losing his mind, but it's onions. He's never had onions. I don't know why he wants them so bad, but let's see. Here. Ew. Why is he eating it? <laughs> what? Oh, you don't like it? 
Oh my god, he actually kind of likes onion. Why do you like onion? That's weird. Ew. Okay, that's enough for him. I don't really want him to be eating a lot of onion. His breath is gonna smell so bad. Not that it already doesn't, because it does. All right, next on the menu for King Arthur is celery. Celery sounds so uninteresting, but he is losing his mind over it. Let's see what baby Arthur thinks about celery. You like celery? You like it or you don't like it? You can't decide? I think he likes the flower of the celery more than like the bottom part. All right, next up on the menu for baby Artie is carrots. Arthur has had cooked carrots, but he's never had raw carrots. Raw carrots are pretty boring, so I don't know if he's gonna like them, but honestly, this guy likes celery and onions, so I wouldn't be surprised. Carrot time. <laughs> extremely underwhelming it's lettuce and he wants to try it so bad I think Arthur is just into really boring food this guy has no taste okay he just wants lettuce carrots and onions to have some cucumbers he loves cucumbers oh my god why? do think cucumber is his favorite all right guys that is it for today's video if you enjoyed make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe comment down below if you want to see arthur try fruits he hasn't had nearly as many fruits as he's had vegetables so i think that video would be really interesting and also really adorable i love you guys so much and i'll see you next time bye And I'm back today 
with yet another video and I'm so excited for today's video because today Arthur is gonna be trying so many new fruits for the very first time he hasn't had much fruit yet in his little life so I'm so excited to see his reaction honestly I'm pretty sure he's gonna love everything if you watched the last video you would know that I gave him onions and celery and he really liked it for some weird reason the fact that my dog enjoys onions is kind of concerning I really think this video is gonna be so funny to watch so without further ado let's get inside and let's get into the video okay so now we are in the kitchen I'm gonna show you guys cutting up the fruit that Arthur is gonna try I really quickly wanted to mention that obviously he's not gonna be eating up all of this fruit and also obviously he did not eat any of the fruit that he eats in this video in one sitting this video was actually filmed over a couple of days so he is definitely not being fed this much fruit at once a little bit of fruit that he does try in this video he tries over a couple of days not in one sitting after cutting up the bananas I wanted him to try grapefruit and I actually never tried grapefruit myself so after cutting up these grapefruits I try them and they were actually so good apparently they're not the regular bitter grapefruit but there's some sort of like honey grapefruit and it genuinely does taste exactly like honey it's amazing you have to try it Arthur's had strawberries before I thought I wanted him to try it and have it again because he loves them and he always has a different reaction these strawberries were really good like you can tell how bright red they are so I just wanted him to have a try obviously lemons cuz dogs and babies reactions to lemons are always hilarious I really wanted to see how Arthur would react to all the sourness in the lemon Alright, so the first thing that we gave Arthur are strawberries and he loves them. Look at his adorable puppy face. I literally cannot tell him no. Alright, so the next thing we gave him was grapefruit. He actually liked it because I think because this wasn't bitter, he was down with the whole grapefruit thing. But I think if it was bitter, he would probably hate it. Then I wanted to give him raspberries. I didn't think he was going to like them as much as he did. He clearly likes them a lot. Then I gave him bananas. He wasn't like really feeling them, I don't think. It took him a while to get with the flow, but he'll eventually eat anything. That's one thing about Arthur. Arthur versus a lemon. I didn't know what his reaction would be. He wanted nothing to do with the lemon. He actually almost fought the lemon. Just watch.
let him try various types of grapes. I gave him green grapes, I gave him red grapes, I gave him in between grapes, and he liked all of them a lot. I gave him a blueberry. I didn't think he was gonna like it. He liked it, but it took him a while. I feel like he needs to break through the skin of the fruit, and once the flavor comes out, he starts liking it. Here's some slow motion blueberry action for you. Blackberries are a really unique fruit, very sour, very sweet. I wanted to see if he'd like them. He didn't really want to eat them, but he liked just kind of chomping on it. If you notice, like he doesn't really actually eat the fruit that much. But I don't know what that was about. <laughs> And lastly, Arthur tried kiwis, the most boring fruit there is. I feel like we both agree on that. That is it for today's video. I really hope you all enjoyed. I'm sure little Arthur loves filming these videos. He just gets so many treats and it's so fun for him. And I know you guys love Arthur too, so I love filming these videos. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I love you guys all so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!